Go Mouse Scouts, episode 113. You're listening to Go Mouse Scouts, where we're dedicated to helping you and your kids have a great time at the Disney parks, whether you're just starting out or a seasoned pro. My name is Chris. And I'm Megan. And in this episode, we are doing Fear's Guide to Disneyland. You know, Fear from Inside Out. Yes. Right? We figured that since this is episode 113, and 13 is a quote-unquote traditionally unlucky number (laughs) and people can be afraid of it, we thought we would do something centered around fear. So for this episode and for the next Park Tips episode, which will be 115, we're going to do... um, you know, we're we're going to do uh, Disneyland Park in this episode and Disney's California Adventure in the next episode. So we're we're going to kind of do um, kind of a um, you know audio tour, I guess, of Disneyland Park, just kind of going through the different lands and uh, and tackling some of the different attractions. Um, and we're going to be going with uh, what is it a height limit of 40, 40 inches 40 or inches. less. So this is going to be more or less for. Um, what is scary for kids? Um, who We're talking are, like the preschool toddler yeah, about, age. Yeah, exactly. So um, when fears abound, exactly. <laughs> now this has the potential of being a little bit of a longer episode. I, I think since we're covering, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, different rides and stuff. So I guess let's just uh, jump right in. So let's. Uh, oh, okay. So um, we're we're gonna start off in Adventureland. And um, let's start off with the Jungle Cruise. Well, um, there is, of course, the uh, spot where the skipper is shooting at the um, hippos Mm -hmm. in the hippo pool. And, you know, some kids are afraid of loud noises. They do warn you that they're going to do it ahead of time. And so, you know, you can cover your your kids' ears or whatever. Um, Some younger kids may be concerned that the animals are real. So you might want to, you know, reassure them that they're just audio animatronic. They're mm. not uh, not going to actually come eat them. And the piranhas <laughs> can be startling as well um, as they start jumping out of the water towards you. Mm-hmm. The kids, again, might be startled and maybe fearful that they're actually man-eating fish. And Yeah, and they, they actually come up like they're like right alongside the boat, mm-hmm. uh, pretty close. And, you know, it's like spraying water kind of thing and it's really loud and it can be startling Mm -hmm. so Uh, let's see all right tarzan's treehouse we have a there's a a spot where a tiger roars Mm -hmm. i I think it's i think it's like kind of at the beginning not a tiger oh is it a tiger or a cheetah i think so oh we're gonna have to we're (laughs) we're going to have to watch tarzan again and settle this score aren't we Uh, but I, I think it's kind of like at the beginning of the story that they're telling because, you know, if you've seen the movie, um, you know, Tarzan's family is uh, attacked by, you know, this wild cat. And so that's kind of the sound that it's emulating. Um, if you're just kind of like um, coming up to it, you might hear it um, like a little off before you get there. So you'll kind of be a little bit ready for that. Um, but, you know, that's about it for that one. Mm-hmm. And then the tiki room, um, you know, the, the singing birds and the singing flowers are really cool and everything. Our um, nervous child ha- is afraid of the spot where there's thunder and lightning mm-hmm. and where the tikis themselves are singing. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't like that at all. Right. So, you know, those, that's something else that just to be aware of um, yeah. when you go and in. It, it is a show in the dark also. So it's like, um, you know, you've it's got that. Um, but then, you know, when, when the, the tiki's and stuff start singing, it kind of like builds up to this crescendo. Um, and then all of a sudden there's like the thunder and lightning mm-hmm. and it can, you know, kind of be a little startling. So. Yeah. So moving on to New Orleans square, of course we have pirates. Yay. And, um, things that could be scary in pirates for the younger set are the waterfall drops at the beginning. Um, ours do not like those at all. <laughs> Even the the little mini one, like yeah, the second one, yeah, yeah, they're just like no. Um, you know the the atmosphere in general. It's it is a dark ride. It is dark. Mm-hmm. Um, you know it's it's a kind of you've got these characters all around you that look like these really rough men and stuff. You know, so to a kid who can't quite distinguish fantasy from reality, that could be scary. 
Um, it also features like skeletons and mm-hmm. stuff like that at the beginning. Um, and there's a, a a cannon battle, like a battle between the ship and like the the land. Um, and so that can you know potentially be a little startling, especially if um, you know one of the the air cannons from like the the water right next to you just kind of like psh, yeah blows or whatever you know. Um, the or Davy what, Jones huh. waterfall. Yeah. Uh, you know, kids might be scared going under that. Um, and then also the one of the scenes towards the end has um, simulated fire. Mm-hmm. It's not real fire, but you know, kids they don't know that. So don't tell them. But it was at one point, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Oh man. So let's see here. Haunted Mansion. Yes. Everything. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. If you have a kid who is um afraid of anything. You might want to avoid that one for a while. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, not. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you, you guys too. are going to be paying the uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the bills for the shrink, right? Right, right. Uh, so, but, you know, be be prepared for, you know, like screaming and, and uh, you know, like jump scares and the stuff like that throughout. And, and, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a haunted house. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Um, moving on to Critter Country. We have Splash Mountain. Um you know, there there is one section in the ride where it is pitch black, mm-hmm. and you know kinda that's like weaving through like a little. You're going kind of up and down for mm-hmm. a moment as you're going from one water area to another water area. I, I think what they're trying to do is to like slow down the the log a little bit so that I don't know. I, I, I seem no to idea. remember hearing that somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> well, the pitch pitch blackness, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then of course the uh, the long drop. Yeah, that one gets everybody, drop, right? That one's good. And then like as as you're coming up to that point, the kind of the the theme of the ride changes um, you know, from like happy singing and this and that to to more sorrowful and you know, kids might pick up on that as well cuz mm-hmm. you know, kids are are sensitive to emotion and stuff like that. So, right. you know. I don't know if fear would um. like that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Winnie the Pooh ride. Um, I know you'd thinking how could you find something scary about this one? But, mm. you know, the Heffalumps and Woozles room can be a little disconcerting. There's a lot going on in there. It can be really overstimulating for some kids. Mm-hmm. So there's there's a lot of color and a lot of movement happening and things are just weird and not the way they're supposed to be. And so some kids might be, you know, concerned about that or scared of that. Yeah, it's whimsical and like out there, you know. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Um, Frontierland. Frontierland. So the boats have loud noises. Mm-hmm. The whistle on the Mark Twain. Um, they do cannons on the Columbia. Right. There's a bell on the Mark mm-hmm. Twain as well. Um, so so I mean, any of the loud noises could be startling. Yeah. Um, Big Thunder is, of course, a roller coaster. Um, there's areas of darkness that could be an issue. Mm-hmm. And there's also one scene where there's it looks like the mine is collapsing around you. And, you know, for a younger child, that could be yeah. a worry for them. Yep. Um, Fantasyland. <laughs> this one Lots has here. so many rides. So first we have to tell you, you know, when you, you many of the rides in Fantasyland are dark rides. Mm-hmm. So, of course, if your kid is afraid of the dark, that could be an issue. Mm-hmm. So we'll just give that yeah. a blanket statement here. Kind that, of you an know, overall umbrella of uh-huh. all the, the Fantasyland dark rides. With that and ours said. <laughs> have been afraid of all of those at some point or another, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Snow White's Scary Adventures. This one is actually designed to be scary. I mean, it says it right there in the name. They actually um, changed the name. Originally, it didn't say it wasn't yeah. Snow White's Scary Adventures. It was just Snow White's Adventures. And then so many kids were getting scared on it. They thought, you know, we should change the name and let people have a little more warning that, you know, mm-hmm. scary. And at first, Snow White wasn't even in the ride because, like, you're supposed to be Snow White mm-hmm. as you're riding through it. And people didn't get that. But basically, what, what happens in that one is you're kind of being stalked through, like, the forest and, like, through dungeons and stuff by the, the evil queen or... Um, or witch or whatever she is mm-hmm. um and so you know obviously she has ill intent and they you know play that up and stuff uh so there's there's all kinds of like dark areas and the trees look creepy and stuff and like skeletons that. and mm-hmm. all that kind of spooky yeah. stuff so um mr toad has uh of course the hell scene at the end mm-hmm. um 
but which you don't you don't get there and... you don't get to go there until you get hit by the train which is coming right and at so you, you know so... that's that's a in a tunnel and it looks like there's a train coming your way and right so yeah. you know that that could be so, scary <laughs> yeah and if if you ever wanted to tell somebody to go to well, they could just go on Mr. Toad's, right? right because right. you uh-huh. get to go there. Uh-huh. So, yeah, fun times. All right. Uh, Pinocchio has some kind of scary c- characters in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, Monstro, who comes, like, you know, towards you out of yeah, the darkness. Like bounding up. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, there's there's other scary characters like uh, Stromboli, um, the guy who has the, um, the Pleasure Island, mm-hmm. and he's, you know, capturing the kids and turning them into... Uh, donkeys and whatnot. And so there's, you know, scenes like that, um, that, you know, can, might be an issue. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. Alice in Wonderland, the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Off with your head, right? Right, right. Anything around the Queen of Hearts. I mean, she's just like this ill tempered woman who is always, always angry and mad at people. So, um, you know. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much it there. Um, Peter Pan, other than the fact that, you know, it is a dark ride again, Mm -hmm. there's not really much scary there. Yeah. So that one's a good one. And fun because you get to fly. Yeah. Right? Well, that's why it usually has a 45 minute to an hour long line. (laughs) This next one is terrifying. The carousel. I just can't even handle it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we're going with nothing scary well, on that one yeah, either. Yeah, pretty much. And especially, you know, the ones where you can see the whole ride. Mm-hmm. You know, at least if your kids look at it going, um, I'm not sure about this, you can, you know, yeah. avoid it. Um, Casey Jr. Circus Train, same thing. Not really anything scary there. Um, Storybook <laughs> Land Cruise. You go into the mouth of the whale and, you know... I don't remember if our kids have ever actually, you know, had issues with that, have. but I've known other children who did. But even, even like as you're walking by it, mm-hmm. you can see the other side that you, know, right. you come back out into the light and stuff. So but, most kids know. can get over it pretty quickly, but you know, it could be something that could cause some to, mm-hmm. you know, really hesitate about going on it. Yep. Um, teacups again, you can see the whole thing, not really anything scary there. Um Dumbo can be an issue if your kid is afraid of heights. Or spinning. Teacups could be a spinning issue. Well, yeah, yeah. we have one who doesn't like to split. Well, he's not afraid of spinning. He, he just, just doesn't, doesn't like, like it. it. Yeah. But um, we've had one of them. I can't even remember which one now. One of them at some point was like freaking out about heights. So mm-hmm. <laughs> um, small world, nothing scary there other than, you know, getting that tune stuck in your head for the next yeah. Three months. Though I, I did hear somewhere that uh, if you do something wrong at Disneyland, they actually take you onto that ride and nail your feet down so that, and then you start singing the song. And right, right. That's, uh-huh. I've had nightmares about that. <laughs> uh, Toontown, you've got Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. Um, there's some explosion scenes that mm-hmm. could be, you know, a little scary. Yeah. The weasels. They could be a little scary. It, it basically kind of takes you through like a little bit of the plot of the movie. Mm-hmm. And if you've seen the movie, I mean, you know, it's it's not really a kid's flick, you know? Right. I mean, so there there's things in it, um, you know, that that can be scary. Um, you know, it's 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 got like kind of like a like a grungy kind of like old fashioned feel to it. And mm-hmm. so, you know, that it, it's really, really well designed and I, I just love like all of the art in it and stuff, but uh, you know that that's just another one that might the, uh, the queue area give pause. in particular. As you wind your way through the queue, there's some areas that are very dark, mm-hmm. and um, our oldest has had some concerns with that one, <laughs> <laughs> just from standing yeah. in line. <clears throat> uh, Gadgets go coaster is you know it's just a small roller coaster, so yeah, you know so, you I mean, can, again another one you can see the whole thing. From right there. It, it is good for kids. So, I mean, if your kids are up to it, mm-hmm. by all means, you know, if, yeah. if you've got like, uh, you know, thrill seekers in the making, bam, go for it. <laughs> oh, I hope we have a thrill seeker in the making at some point. Yeah, I think Teddy <laughs> might be. You think he might be? Yeah, we'll see. All right, we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll Heading over to Tomorrowland now. Roller coasters with him. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, the Finding Nemo submarines. Mm-hmm. There are some areas where it is pitch black. Um, there are some explosions where it looks like things are being, you know, electrified inside and everything. Mm-hmm. And my and favorite, rocked. 
the angler fish. The angler fish. Yeah, those guys are freaky looking. It's it's like the if if you've seen the movie, you know the the little fish with the light that comes down uh-huh. over the head as kind of like bait to, you know, get other fish to to follow it because you know fish are dumb, dumb, dumb. They chase anything that uh, glitters. That glitters. So <laughs> <laughs> as we've learned from yeah, Moana. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, and and uh, so that guy comes out and he's got like mm-hmm. sharp teeth and stuff. So nice jump scare there. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, Space Mountain, you know, is roller coaster in the dark. Mm-hmm. So enough said. Yep. Uh, Star Tours uh, has some, you know, some surprises, some jump scares. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I wouldn't even say uh, surprising moments. And mm-hmm. um, really, I think the the thing about that is, you know, it's a simulated flight, and they take you into situations mm-hmm. um, in the story. Where it feels like, you know, the the ship or, or the shuttle that you're in <clears throat> could be in danger, you mm-hmm. know? And so if if kids are buying into that, you know, and at the same time, they're not really able sometimes to, to um, you know, figure out the difference between reality and fantasy, you know, that, that could pose something. But, you know, Kit loves that ride. Oh, yeah. And uh, I love going on it with him and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it, it's just comes down to knowing your kids, you know, mm-hmm. and, and what they'll like and not. So, um, Buzz Lightyear, you've got, you know, some darkness again. Zerg can be kind of scary because, you know, he's mm-hmm. not so big in the movies and then he's like huge in the, <laughs> he's in the ride. So, but then so is, uh, so is Buzz Lightyear is huge. Yeah. Too. But, you know, it's, it's one thing when the hero is huge and it's another thing when the villain is huge. I think the villain is bigger than Buzz too, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yep. So, um, and then Autopia, there's nothing scary there. <laughs> I did think of something. Oh, you did? Well, sometimes like if, if the person behind you isn't paying attention and they come up and like rear end you, which you're not supposed to do on the mm-hmm. ride, you know, that could be surprising, but yeah. Yeah. So we, we were trying to really kind of come at all of these from, <laughs> from like all of the angles that fear would come after, right, you know right. what I mean? So, um, Disneyland is a fun place. It's great for families, great for kids. Um, you know, just, just know your kids and, and what they like basically, you know, and you're going to have a great time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, let's see before we, uh, sign off here, we're kind of going a little long on this, but, you know, we did mention, uh, all of the, all of the rides pretty much at Disneyland. Um, but so- something interesting happened a couple of days ago. We noticed that there was a, a huge spike in our downloads. Um, we were looking at, uh, our stats from our, our web host or our uh, podcasting host. And so we're not exactly sure where that came from. Um, you know, it could be maybe, maybe somebody who listens to the show, um, mentioned it, um, you know, like in an article or like a newsletter or, or whatever. If you mentioned it from the stage somewhere, if you're talking about Disney or whatever, um, you know, whoever it is who mentioned our show somewhere, we, we wanted to just thank you and, uh, um, also welcome our new listeners. So, uh, I hope you guys like the show. We have all kinds of, uh, fun episodes that we've done and, and informational things, um, on visiting Disneyland with kids. So, uh, thank you, uh, so much for listening. And if, if you're the one who mentioned us, we'd love to hear from you. So reach out to us, drop us a line, um, fun at gomascouts.com. And, uh, if you'd like to continue the conversation, we also have our Facebook group, which uh, we've created a, a quick link for you to get there at gomascouts.com slash Facebook. You can join our group. We talk about Disneyland, obviously. We talk about visiting the parks with kids. And we generally just geek out geek out over Disney. And we would love to uh, have you guys come join us over there as well. So other than that, thank you everybody so much for listening. We will catch you in the next episode which we will visit Disney California Adventure and how fear would uh, (laughs) dictate things over there. So take care. Disney 98. Papa, I'm it.